What is going on, everybody? Y'all have clicked on another fully sponsored squirrel hunting video. And for those of you that have watched the channel before, y'all know what that means. That means we don't have to take out all the parts of the video that make it a hunting video. If we pin a squirrel to the feeder, that's all right. We'll leave it in there. If there's a little bit of blood, then, you know, no worries. If the old G5 Montec pulls the guts out of a squirrel, well, we eat them and they got to come out anyways. No harm, no foul. Y'all check this out. Y'all have been asking me to hunt with the 80 pound pistol crossbow for a long time and I haven't done it because the bolts you can get for them, they're just not any good. And we've made some hunting bolts, but we made them out of uh, full size arrows and they just shoot so slow that they don't work real well. They work all right, they shoot straight, but squirrels are so fast that I hadn't squirrel hunted with them since, you know, probably one of the first videos. But y'all check this out. This brings me to today's video sponsor. It is you guys. Y'all have bought so many of our bolts since we've started making them and we've gotten the website up that I don't have to worry about the monetization status of a video no more. If it gets demonetized, then no harm, no foul. These bolts are pure carbon and made for the 80 pound pistol crossbows. Check it out. They accept a full size broadhead, seat all the way to the back, and then the three inch veins are thin enough that they can get out between the sights and not, not hit anything. It's all good. These things, I have been shooting them. They shoot fantastic. So now that I've showed you what we're gonna be hunting with, told you thanks for buying all those bolts you've been buying. Let me go over there and show you what we got going, where we're gonna hunt. Here we go, here we go. Y'all have all seen this spot before, the old squirrel feeder there. But normally, I hunt out of the shed. But I have set a blind up because, you know, last week I thought I was gonna shoot a squirrel with a slingshot, and I just, I'm not good enough, not yet. Maybe at some point we'll shoot a squirrel with a slingshot, but not right now, probably not this year. So we're gonna go ahead and use the blind. It puts us up close, which means we ought to be able to get some really good footage. We're just, ain't nothing to do now but crawl off in this blind and wait on a squirrel to ease down that tree and grab him a sunflower seed. That arrow is sticking right where that squirrel was sitting. How fast does a squirrel have to be moving to jump the string at 11 feet? That, that just don't seem possible. Let's go get the chronograph and see how fast this arrow is actually moving. All right, we got the chronograph set up. We're fixing to turn the arrow loose through it and see what she's running. Feet per second is what we're doing. 157 157 feet per second is pretty fast for these little bows I, man that would cover 11 feet in no time flat so you can't tell me these critters don't move fast that's why I, that's why i hunt so close to the deer with the mini strikers all right so we're going to get back over there get in the blind and what we're going to do is we're going to let the critter settle down before I shoot at it. I'm gonna let it pick up a sunflower seed, get to munching, have its dinner, and then I'm gonna loose an arrow. If it's not expecting it, it won't think to move out of the way. lights out 
when they're hanging from their back feet i get them every time got it done with the new bolts and i bet y'all like that y'all always like it when they get pinned to the feeder she's still in good shape let's see if we can get another one all right we got that one cleaned and in the refrigerator i'm gonna try for one more but i'm not gonna sit here but about 10 minutes or so because you know connor's over there playing basketball having a good time caps home so i don't know i'm gonna give it about 10 minutes and then go hang out with them and i'll come back out here tomorrow if i don't shoot another one today when they're in school you know Got tired of waiting on him to come around, but I got him. He's laying right there, right over there. Let's go fetch him. Let's see if I can dig the bolt out here first. <clears throat> ah! It went all the way through him. I need to get the baby, because that sucker is laying right over there. And I don't know if I want to weasel my way through that. We're just going to do it. Uh, uh, right here. Ooh, that old Montec took some of the guts out. Oh, y'all don't get your feelings hurt. Don't get your feelings hurt. Remember, we eat them, so it ain't that big of a deal. These little hunting bolts for the 80 pound crossbow, that's where it's all right. They shoot so much better. And I'm not just saying that because I make them and sell them. Let me get this one cleaned and we'll uh, probably call it for the evening and come back out here tomorrow. What do you say? <laughs> Ain't got nothing to say. Oh. Well, it is the next day. And I think I'm going to call it. I have been in and out of that blind all morning. And I've only seen one squirrel that was wise to my schemes when i leaned forward to shoot that sucker he vacated said i ain't gonna be in no dumpling pot today but it's all good we shot a couple yesterday and there will be future videos y'all see that rabbit over there that is a rogue rabbit that belongs to my neighbors it has escaped and can't nobody catch it i need to go see if they'll sell it to me and then we'll have that sucker for dinner he would be delicious too maybe future video i don't know anyways if y'all are interested in these bolts they are for sale right now on our website y'all go check them out the first link in the description will get you there and as always i appreciate y'all watching it means more to me than you know y'all are changing my life i ain't even playing that is all i have for today we'll catch you next time